We have some interesting news coming out of Indiana, specifically Tyrese Halliburton. Apparently, he told the Cavs and the Hawks, do not draft me. So back in 2020, when Tyrese Halliburton was a prospect, he was projected to be in the lottery with the Cavs having the fifth overall pick, following by Atlanta, and Halliburton was in the mix, but he had told his agent he did not want to be drafted by either team due to their backcourt situation. So the Cavs, they had drafted Colin Sexton in 2018 and Darius Garland in 2019, both top 10 picks, whereas the Hawks, they had drafted Trey Young and Kevin Herter in the same draft class of 2018. So knowing that if he were to be drafted by either team, he would have a very limited role. He preferred to go somewhere else. And instead, the Kings, they pulled the trigger and went after him. Which is interesting knowing that the Kings, they already had Buddy Heald and De'Aaron Fox. Which would be confusing to not at least inform the Kings on saying, hey, do not draft me if he were to done the same thing with the Cavs and the Hawks. So unless he would have known that the Kings would have moved on from Buddy Heald in the first place, these recent reports would not make sense. And on top of that, he did not even last long with the Kings as he got traded to the Pacers, so it didn't matter anyway. And when he had got traded, he was disappointed with the results as he wanted to stay in Sacramento. And he took the move personally at first, but instead looked more positive on knowing the fact that he would have a bigger opportunity with the Pacers as they are now considered to be in rebuild mode. Now, speaking of rebuild mode, the Pelicans, they might be in that transition if Zion Williamson does not get healthy. He has been dealing with foot problems all season, already had surgery, and he is considering to have another one that would shut him down for the rest of the season. And because of this, and because of this, the relationship between him and the front office is not going well. So apparently Zion Williamson is not satisfied with Vice President David Griffin. And the reports are that he, along with his camp, does not have faith in David Griffin, which would explain why Zion Williamson is not making contact with his teammates. As recently, former Pelicans J.J. Redick he went after Zion Williamson and was disappointed in him as he recently did not contact new teammate CJ McCollum, has been staying away from the team, has reportedly stayed in Oregon while trying to recover from his injury. Now going back to JJ Redick, after he called out Zion Williamson, he apparently had reached out to CJ McCollum and the two have been in touch. And on top of that, when JJ Redick was with the Pelicans, he was informed that he had been lied to by David Griffin when he had thought that he was going to stay with the team, but eventually got traded to the Mavericks. So there is some controversy going both sides between David Griffin and Zion Williamson, as this is a crucial year for Zion. He's in his third year and is eligible for a massive contra extension as he had been an all-star in his second year but is constantly dealing with injuries he only played 24 games his rookie year then had averaged almost 27 points making an all-star appearance and has yet to play so far in his third year so this is rough for zion williamson from a contract and relationship point of view between him and the front office along with his teammates so we'll see what happens to zion and his health along with his relationship on him possibly being traded to another team that's all for now, you guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share with others. As I'll see you guys next time.